Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Keel Dyke and welcome back to the channel. So I'm finally pleased to announce my latest Orange Pi 5 uh, image for RetroPie. If you guys are familiar with the Orange Pi 5, I've been covering this topic now for the past couple of months. Haven't done a lot of extensive videos on it because I definitely like to take my time and do my research. However, this image is made by the Supreme team as far as the base is concerned. I've loaded all of the emulators as many as possible that would compile on this type of device and as you can see I've loaded it down with a number of different systems uh, this image will comprise will be comprised of 119 gigabytes so you will need to use specifically a Samsung SD card or one of the SanDisk extremes or one of the SanDisk because uh, typically those types of SD cards will give you that allocated amount of 119 I'm familiar with some of the Ofna not Ofna I'm sorry Omni uh, SD cards, which uh, for example, uh, Walmart will sell, even though those, those, those may say uh, 128 like a SanDisk Extreme or a uh, SanDisk uh, SD card. However, the actual file size that's being read is only 116 gigabytes and not 119. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this video and I hope you guys are pleased uh, with what we have for you today. Okay, so just wanted to quickly remind everyone that this image uh, and this base is still in a beta phase. And the reason why I definitely want to keep that in mind, if you guys are familiar with my channel, normally I do a lot of big showcases and uh, special teasers for projects like these. But uh, keep in mind that RetroPie is only native to the Raspberry Pi. It is not native to the Banana Pi. Uh, the rock pie nor is it native to the orange pie and so there are a lot of adjustments and configurations that have to be made in order to get it to work for example none of the video loading screens work because this particular board and os uses a different type of media player which is why none of the uh, splash screen videos and whatnot are playing uh, that can be fixed with time this is a very small operation however we hope that you enjoy this really for much as what it is and uh, what we're giving you now the biggest differences uh, for this compared to my other previous image is this is an Armbian based improved uh, image in fact I have a few Wii games on here they don't run all spectacularly proud or but they do run pretty decently especially Ghost Squad uh, there is some choppiness with some of these other front ends however there is some uh, more development and tweaking that can be done to get better improvement now you guys may have seen some other videos out there on YouTube where people are showing uh, PlayStation, uh, the Wii, and uh, also showing some of these emulators and games running better from an interface. However, please keep in mind that is a desktop scenario that is not retro gaming front end like a launch box, retro pie, Batacera, and so forth. I will have a upcoming video about that because I got a whole lot to say about that but please keep in mind that the performances that you do see here today is everything uh, garnered to the retro pie environment uh, so we do have our setup scripts here uh, everything is very familiar than what you guys have kind of seen before we got the supreme online toolkit uh, we have Hersey's themes we got bluetooth and i can confirm that the bluetooth module does uh, emphatically work on here in fact let's go ahead and pull it up All right, so this is the Bluetooth menu that you will see. Now, this Bluetooth menu is only accessible if you have the Orange Pi 5B. Uh, right now, these units are retailing or selling on Amazon for about 150 bucks. However, if you get the Orange Pi 5, uh, this will still work. Um, the Orange Pi 5 does not have Bluetooth. You can get a Bluetooth adapter, and it does not have Wi-Fi uh, as well. But just to let you guys know, I did boot this up on the Orange Pi 5B took the SD card out, put it back in the Orange Pi 5, and everything is uh, running. So uh, you do have that Bluetooth capability here. I'll play around with this a little bit later in another video, but you know, I just wanted to show you guys that it is uh, up and working. 
Now, as far as the games and everything that you guys are seeing here on the screen, this time around, I decided to pick some of the larger file sizes. And the only reason why I decided to do that is because uh, there's no way for me to actually shrink this right now. So I had to fill up the SD card as much as possible. Uh, if you guys are familiar with RetroPie and Pi shrinking, if I have only put, let's say, 55 gigs on this SD card, uh, I can shrink it down to only read 55 gigs. However, if you don't have that ability to shrink, which I don't have for the Orange Pi 5, even if I only put 55 gigs on here, it would still show 119 gigabytes. And so what I decided to do uh, as a convenience for all of you is just try to fill this up as much as possible. Uh, so that way that allocated space is really there. And then of course, if you guys want to select your own games, you could go in, you know, you could delete some of these N64 games. And then of course you could delete a lot of these Gap Daphne games, which is comprising of about 30 gigabytes. So uh, we do have all of these games listed on here. I know most of them do work. Uh, everything works and also Daphne Singe is running on here uh, pretty well, I would love to say. So if you guys are unhappy with the game selection and you wanna add some more games, you will need to burn this to a 256 or something higher, 256 gigabyte card or higher, or you can load this up and then delete the games that you don't want. So those are a couple of ways uh, to adjust, you know, for those issues. But, you know, all in all, um, this is to more or less rem remember when I started setting out doing this, uh, first of all was to get RetroPie up and running, uh, get it very up, well, up and running comparable to what you guys have already experienced with the uh, Raspberry Pi device, and then primarily then start tweaking from there. So, uh, but also um, in addition to that, we wanted to make sure or to see if this could be a cheaper alternative or another alternative uh, in terms of price. We all know that the Raspberry Pis right now are limited in quantity, hard to find, and they're selling for about 150 bucks on the average. So uh, unfortunately, the Orange Pi 5B is a little bit more expensive with that, coming in at about $159 if you get this uh, eight gigabyte model. It's a little cheaper if you get the four gigabyte model. But um, if you do get the cheaper version, it does work, which could be the Orange Pi 5 4 gigabyte model. I don't know the price of that off the top of my head. I do believe it may be around 60 bucks. But at any rate, this will work for you as well. So all the RK Classics, 3DO, Atari games are on here. Um, I do believe Atari Jaguar games run a lot better on this based upon some of the other videos that I've shown you guys here in the past. Uh, so you will be pretty much uh, pleased with that. But uh, you have your show your IP, you got your file manager, you got your ARM being configuration, you got the bezel project. I don't believe there's any bezels on here, I can't be mistaken, but if you guys wanna erase that as well, that'll also uh, free up some space uh, additionally. Um, I do believe that the sending technology also works. I do not have the software installed on here. I did try Batasera image and that, so I can confirm that at least it works within the Orange Pi uh, interface. Um, I do have a lot to say about that Batacera image too. Uh, yeah, I'll probably do an upcoming video, you know, in regards to that. But and anyway, I'm really pleased uh, with this image. Uh, for those of you looking to where you can find it, this will be an exclusive Patreon release. If you guys want to go ahead and sign up with Patreon, um, I will be making some slight changes in terms of where my download links are. I will be moving uh, over from Google Drive to maybe a seed box or something of that nature. But uh, the mega account or mega links will always be available for you guys right now because uh, that's doing pretty well. Um, one of the reasons why I'm moving away from Google is because, you know, Google has limitations. So many people downloading every day and then it starts restricting access. And then of course too, if you guys are familiar when I started uploading my Venom image a few years ago, uh, come to find out you can only upload 375 gigs before Google shuts you off and there's no way to download anything bigger than that. And uh, really misleading, didn't know that at the time, but uh, if you d upload anything to Google Drive over 400 gigabytes or so and you try to download it, it'll fail. So. Uh, didn't anticipate any of that happening. But all in all, uh, the biggest differences on here for the Armian was increasing the GPU allocated amount as far as performance. Again, there are some tweaks with that. So if you guys remember, none of these Wii games within the RetroPie interface on the Orange Pi 5 would either boot up 
wouldn't start. Um, in most cases, I wouldn't even say it wasn't even choppy. They just wouldn't load whatsoever. So it was really terrible. And so uh, now there is, uh, even though in some cases it is a little choppy, I am glad to know that it is working. I mean, it is definitely playable, especially uh, Ghost Squad. I mean, I have enjoyed that now uh, for some time. But I um, definitely want to apologize for you guys. I've been busy with a whole lot of stuff. It took a lot of time, I mean, hours uh, to compile as many emulators as possible. I had to go through each one, and some of them could take anywhere between 10 seconds all the way up to maybe five or six hours or a half a day just to install an emulator. And the thing that would suck is if I messed up at any point in time uh, during this, I would have to start all over and uh it would corrupt my entire image and then make sure so i would have to do everything correctly make sure i was able to back it up and then being able to give you guys uh really put, you know put out a decent image for you guys all right so i have all the games here loaded on the screen as you guys can see i wanted to load a different number of various uh interfaces and uh or em different emulators and uh games on here um, I will, will also let you guys know that uh, when I did my first test for the Orange Pi 5, everything came out fine with the controller. However, at the time of recording this video, I am noticing a couple of glitches here and there. Uh, some of those are minor. One of the things I am noticing is that every time I reboot my unit, uh, it, it doesn't save the controllers. And I'm not sure if that has to do with me switching over from the Orange Pi 5 and then going back to the Orange Pi 5B. Uh, just because I've, I've mentioned it before where you know when I do my reviews and I check everything I, I try to check everything as much as possible and the other thing that I'm also noticing is that when I try to exit out of a game sometimes the controllers don't respond however uh, I, I can't remember if the image I uploaded was uh, before the test uh, to see it it may have already been done but I just thought I'd make a notice of that in case you guys already see it um, I don't want to spend it too much time right now trying to re-upload and trying to fix everything. I'm going to upload everything and release it as is because it's already been uploaded now for about a past couple of weeks. All in all, this is it, guys. I hope you guys appreciate the work. Uh, this will be given out to our Patreon members ASAP. You guys will be downloading this through Mega uh, right now. I think I still have this on my Google Drive. But uh, again, I'm happy with it. We're still making advancements and changes and some minor tweaks. And please keep in mind, this is not native to the Orange Pi 5. We've tried, we've had it taken us weeks to try to get it to boot. It's taken weeks and things just to get certain upgrades uh, added. It's been much more difficult trying to get this to work than uh, when we ported over RetroPie to the Pi 4 back in 2019. And then, of course, a lot harder than getting it to boot on the Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. So again, I just wanted to make sure I mentioned that to you guys as far as having a few complications. Um, you aren't going crazy. I've seen it myself. But all in all, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. I definitely appreciate 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 all of you out there subscribing and uh, supporting the channel. We're continuing to grow. I also have some additional vendors I will be working with and I uh, hope you guys enjoy that as well. So with that all being said, this is KDK Keel Dyken. I will catch you guys later. You guys all have a great evening. Peace out and bye-bye.